Hi, it's been uh, about three weeks since our last um, update video on the trailer. Just wanted to do a quick walkthrough on what we've gotten done since then, um, including some of um, our electrical, plumbing, um, some cabinet work, our air conditioning. Uh, I think I didn't have my LP tank installed last video. So I'll try to include everything I can and just keep it real short and sweet. Hope you like it. Thanks. So we'll start first with our bathroom. It's uh, finally trimmed out. It's got all the corner roof trimming done. This panel has been off the whole time. Finally got that put up. The uh, water heater is totally plumbed in. Uh, cold water going in, hot water coming out, LP gas hooked up. Just everything just runs right down this channel there in the nose cone. And the LP gas just runs right down out the floor and right to the tank. Um, I got this vent connection that is going to go through this flexible hose. Going to run behind the toilet. Here is where my flange will be for the toilet and this is going to be my vent for the toilet. So hopefully it's nice and hidden and then this flexible hose will eventually plug into here and this will act as my vent. Um, I copied this actually from my Scamp trailer that we had. They did something similar. Uh, might be a little bit nicer the way they did it. but. I think this is gonna work out pretty good for us. Um, we did some custom like kind of track lighting, I guess you could call it. It's just a uh, aluminum C channel, and then we ran LED lighting in that. I think it come, came out pretty sharp, looks pretty good. Provides plenty of light, and then we have two LEDs, uh, puck lights here, and they're all to, they all turn on and off together. And make it nice and bright in here. Um, last time I don't think we had the shower head installed. It's an Oxygenics. Just basic, I think, two gallons per minute. I think that's what it is. Uh, we did get the, uh, all of our, the fans are wired up and running. Uh, we got the shower panels trimmed out here. Uh, some electrical, we got a plug there. Hot and cold lines are run, and the drain line is run also. Just waiting for the sink to be put in. I'm not sure if we're gonna go with, we were thinking about using this plastic bowl as a above counter sink, but we don't know if we like it yet, so I'm not sure if we're gonna use that. Uh, we did trim out, finally get the these outer walls of the shower and the bathroom trimmed out. This is um, a cedar plank that we got from Lowe's, and my wife, painted it and then sanded it, whitewashed some of them, and then clear coated after that. And I think she did an awesome job. It came out really nice. Uh, here's our countertops. We did a video on how we how we made this from just using like acrylic house paint. Uh, you can watch that video. I think it just posted it a couple weeks ago. If you're interested in how this was done. I think it came out pretty nice. Underneath, this is where the, uh, the oven is going to go. We've got our electrical put in box for that. Another box over here, so we've got electrical there. Plumbing here for the sink. Also the drain line put in for the sink, and it runs back here behind the trash can, and then it's going to drain out. You can see that right into the gray tank. We have the air conditioner put in, and it's the Pioneer. I think it's 12,000 BTU, and it blows ice cold. It has been crazy cold in here ever since we put that thing in, and I don't ever turn it below 76, and it's nice and cool in here. Uh, the back window, we did get that installed also. Some more electrical. I think I'm gonna use that plug there for the TV that's gonna hang on this side of the bed. So I can run my line up back here and have that hidden. All the lines run through this PVC pipe in the back of this cabinet. And then run here and there. And then it just turns and runs underneath the bed. And then underneath this cabinet. And over into the electrical compartment. It's just, it's still not done, but it's really close. I got a couple of things I need to tie up here to make it look a little nicer. Got everything labeled. The white lines are the DC and yellow is 
the Romex 12.2 for the AC. And here's the front panel. This is the exact um, electrical box that was in my Scamp trailer and I never had any problems with it. So, ordered the same for this as well. We got our um, drawers in, our drawer boxes. The doors and the, the drawer faces are also in. We just have to get everything painted. Um, I ordered a ton of like really generic, just cheapy drawer slides. And I think I'm gonna redo that because it's not real smooth. You really gotta push it hard. It makes a lot of noise. They're all like that, every single one of them. Got them from the same same person. It's just, if you don't close them, slam them almost, they don't really wanna close. Um, what else do we do? Let's see here. We got these um, cushions for our couch. I think I got these off of like Wayfair.com and you can like order them in almost any size. And they have a ton of colors and it's like a sunbrella fabric, supposed to be really stain resistant. And they, they look pretty nice, we're gonna get some throw pillows for that. Um, plumbing for the shower it comes out right here. And the one on the left, left drain line is for the bathroom sink. And then here on the right is for the shower. This hotline right here feeds an outdoor shower that we're gonna have. It's the exact same one we're using in our shower inside. And we're just gonna use a, a quick connect like water hose that we can use to give the dogs baths and make sure that they got hot water as well. Uh, here is our switch panel board. That controls right now is just these two running that control our lights. So we have under counter lights here, and it's just the same strips that we used in the bathroom, and it runs on both sides. Nothing special, but it's a nice accent light, and then we have the rest of our lighting coming from these little LED puck lights. And man, they put off a ton of light. I thought we were gonna need more than this, but it's plenty bright in here. Um, our fans, they are, both are wired in. Uh, the, electric, the electric comes in from, it's gonna come in from behind the fridge right here and feeds the uh, power box, which is right next to it here. Here's the LP tank and the battery. I'm not 100% sure if that's where I'm going to leave the battery, but for now, it's going to stay there. So the tank just runs from here and goes straight up underneath the nose, and then right up to the center of that cone, and then straight to the water heater. Very simple. I just had to use like um, like two little adapters to go from this this flexible hosing to that yellow hose that you uh, saw on the inside. Here's the uh, city water intake and the electrical intake. I was pretty nervous about cutting the holes in the side for that, but worked out okay. Things running strong. So right now, I was kind of in a bind and had to, I had the uh, AC guy out here to hook this up up for me and pull the vacuum. And what I should have done was put a hole here and run the line straight to these connection fittings. But when he got here, I didn't realize it wouldn't be able to, he couldn't make the turn sharp enough. And there's a, a plate that's supposed to go over here and cover all these lines. And I couldn't make a decision fast enough. And I said, I'd just run it there for now. And I, I really would like to change the way this is because these hang kind of low. I'm worried they're going to get hit or yanked off or something. So eventually I think what I'm going to do is have them come back out. I'm going to cut a hole out here and run them straight into those fittings there. So that's it for this week's update. I hope that you like what you saw. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen here or that we've done, 
make sure to comment below and I'll do my best to get back with you as soon as we can. Uh, it is definitely taking us longer than we anticipated. I thought we'd be done for sure by now, but uh, we easily have a few more weeks, if not a couple more months. Uh, we really were hoping to use it to get up to the hill country of Texas this summer, but it may, may be the fall. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyways, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you on the next video.